Alright, I just started using Usenet and this is the client I was using. It's called uh, Lata NZB. It's actually pretty simple. I like it a lot. And if you never used Usenet before, it's. I mean, how would I describe this? It's a mixture between um, uh, what's well, kind of similar to BitTorrent and um, what's that? CyberLockers. CyberLocker meaning, you know, hosting sites like Mega Upload or RapidShare. Because Usenet, you're not actually downloading from other people, you actually download from a server. And it goes crazy fast because you're downloading from a server, right? It max out your bandwidth and everything. Um, um, so that's the good thing. The bad thing is that you're probably going to have to pay for it. And that's the thing I don't like. I don't want to pay for this sucker. I'm actually using a free account. Uh, but, you know, without the pain and everything, I actually do like it because it's going max speed and everything. And there's other similarities to BitTorrent, so I'll talk about that in a minute here. But you're gonna need an account, and you know you can sign up for it if you want. The thing about this is you want to look at the retention dates. Uh, this is gonna matter a lot because some of the files, you know, when you're you're doing uh, file sharing, is that some of the files are really old, and if you don't have an account that can go back to like a thousand days or something like that then you're not going to be able to download those files because they limit you like if you have like 30 day retention then you can only download files within uh, that's been uploaded within that 30 days if you want to download like files that you know like uh, uploaded last year or something you're not going to be able to do that with this account um, so yeah so the higher the retention uh, dates the better because you can actually download uh, files like two or three years old and it will go full speed it's not like BitTorrent where you have like zero seeders and because the file is like two years old or something like that. This thing you have a, a high retention date, so you can still download them. So that's uh, another reason why uh, using it is like, you know, the best for that. And other things is you have, uh, you know, like uh, torrent sites, you have like different um, like search engine, I guess, like, you know, Pirate Bay, Mini Nova. You, you search for different torrents, right? Well, they have the same thing here. They have different indexers, right? So here's some of the sites, and you will search it. Um, I'll give you an example. If I search for uh, Linux Mint or something, var, and let me do some advanced search here. It's gonna be like a hundred megs minimum, and search. And there we go. We have one here. Um, you can see that this one is like, uh, what is it, 409 days old. And this is the retention date. So I can actually download this, I believe. So let's say download. All right. And it gave me a NZB file. It's kind of like a torrent file. All right. So you click on this sucker. Let's see if it downloads. Yeah. Okay. So my retention is pretty high, I guess. There you go. It's downloading, I believe. There you go. It's like 20 minutes. It goes like uh, full speed. You can actually do some settings in here too. So I go to preference, and you can do uh, limit your your you know your download speed because you don't want to max out when you're trying to surf. Also, other things you can do is you tell it to repair, extract, and delete the archives. So when it's done, uh, it's gonna try to repair any missing parts, I guess. And it's gonna extract it because usually it'll be in the RAR files, you know, RAR zero 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 one zero two uh, Extrata, and it'll extract it automatically. Uh, the other thing you need to do, of course, is you need an account, like I said, and depends on your account information. But uh, here's the basic: if you ever fill out um, FTP settings, so you you add in your server that they tell you. Um, whether you want to use SSL encryption to be anonymous when you're downloading. Uh, I'm not sure it's fully anonymous. You know, they always say, oh, it's fully anonymous, but you know, I never believe in that shit. Anyways, fill in your password and the connection uh, is basically what they tell you here, like, you know, how many connections can you do? So this one says 20 connections uh, for this account or whatever. So that's what you need to fill in there, right? 
and uh, they do have remote access like from the web and that thing is actually using a different program uh, if you open the web uh, interface here it'll open with your browser this one is actually a different program it's called what's this here sab nzbd plus uh, this one is a cross-platform since it's using your browser and a lot of people use this one because you know it's the same interface um, wh whatever operating system we use although I haven't really used this one so I don't want to talk about it but this is the web uh, UI kind of thing alright so that's it that's how you would download stuff really easy I really like it just make it free somehow in the future please <laughs> um, that's it for this one